Oh, I don't trust you. Holding that door. <laughs> Here we go. And welcome everyone to the 1UP XP show, episode 24, and today we have a really fun game um, that is a couch co-op, if you will. So what I mean by that is, if you remember back to the old days of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, N64, the days before internet, you would sit on the couch with your buddy and play a game. There'd be a split screen, you'd see their screen, you'd have your screen, and you'd play the game. Well, some of those games have returned, and there's a game out there called It Takes Two. And you and a buddy play couch co-op, but your buddy's not with you. Your buddy is online, and you see their screen as the same as your screen. So it's split down the middle like this. Hey. Yo, what up, man? I'm not going to lie. You do look good. I, <laughs> I know. I do really look good. Yeah, but this is essentially what they see, isn't it? But this is essentially what you see. Split screen. You see their screen and your screen. And then you play the game. And it's called It Takes Two, and it's free on Xbox Live Game Pass. You can get it on Steam as well, and it's just a lot of fun. So me, Clam, we got together, we played it, and man, it is a lot of fun. A very long game. This is about 10 to 13 hours of playthrough, so you get your money's worth if you do end up buying it for other platforms. But man, what a fun game. Let's check it out. Oh. Wait, isn't uh. the same thing going to happen again? Oh. Perfect. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, bye. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. It's bad. We got to Yeah, we got to move it. Jump inside the hose. Okay. Try not to drop me. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Woo! All right. So you gotta turn that off. There you go. Now you can ride it right on that one. Oh, okay. So I go up here. Okay. Well, let's then get we... sucked in, dude. Oh. This is like portal. Oh, hold on. Wait. It's gotta be this one, right? Alright. And go! No, you gotta go in. Oh, I gotta go in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now it switches it. There you go. Nailed it. Dude, look at us. Whoa. Wait, I don't know, but I'm jumping in it. Oh, I'm in. Oh, there's another one. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and we're here. Kind of fun, actually. Not bad. In you go. Oh, I don't trust you. Holding that door. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> um, all right. What do I have to do here? Uh, you gotta cut the fan off so I can come through. Okay. Oh, wait. I got an idea. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yo, Sylvester, thank you for the like, man. Appreciate it. I'm here. All right. So, you need to hold this. Okay. Get ready for a little shock, okay? Okay. All right, you got to run to the other one. You got to run to the other one. Where's the other one? Right there. We did it. Oh. Oh. That's right. Look at us, dude. Oh, Platformers. Dude. dude, this is sweet. Okay. Hold crouch. Oh, clam. How dare you? 
Wait. Oh. Okay. That's so cool. I run so weird. Wait. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. All right. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. All right. I'm here. <laughs> I thought I had to hit the button. There we go. Ow! Oh, great. I did it. We made it over. Yeah. 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 Captain Obvious. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> you, you sabotaged me, dude. I didn't mean to. Bong. Good job. I'm proud of you. Uh oh. I'll do it. Uh -huh. Do what? Okay. Oh, oh okay. It swaps it. Okay. So this is going down. You need to swap it, please. Yeah. Okay. Swap. Swap. Yeah. Look at us, chat. Oh, my turn. <laughs> All right, swap. All right, swap. Ah! My bad. <laughs> Turned me into confetti. All right. All right. All right. Boom. We did it, chat. What are these? Fishies? Over here? You gotta go in. And I'll shoot you up. Um, no, the other one. You gotta go in it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I got it. <laughs> What's that doing? Oh. All right, hold on. Coming in. Yeah. Wee. Now where? Oh, through the fan. Over here. Oh. <gasps> He's peeking out at me. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> uh. What'd you do? You did it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, don't, you can't do that. Dude, you got absolutely squashed. Randy, right. thank you so much for the six bits. Appreciate it. Oh, what is this? Can oh. we grab these? Nope. Suck them up. Okay, I guess I'm on the vacuum. Oh. Oh. Keep it going. There Boom. we go. Nice. Jump. Yep. He's throwing tropical cyclones at us. <laughs> Tidal Mother waves. Nature's crazy. All right, here we go. Yep. How many of these does he have? All right, I'm on it. Boom. I can't, like I can't get the rest of them. Wait, maybe I can move them? Nope. Uh-oh. All right, sit out here. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Yep. Boom. There we go. Nice. Easy. All right. Oh, wait. Wait. He stopped. Time to finish this. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> chat. Right now. <laughs> hit Y, hit Y, hit Y. Oh, Tap Y. Oh no. Oh my god. That's so terrible. What a way to go. <clears throat> and again, that game is called It Takes Two, a great family fun game, whether it's husband and wife playing it, two friends playing it, or if it's brother and sister, it doesn't matter. A great game for you to check out. And again, live for uh, 
free for the Xbox Live Game Pass. And even if you have just one copy and your friend doesn't have a copy, all they have to do is download the Friend Pass for the game, which is free, and you can play it together. So only one person needs to have the game on their machine. The other friend just has to grab the Friend Pass, which is free for everybody. Super fun game. Check it out. Highly recommend it. But coming up next on the 1UP XP Show, we have one more campus tour, and it's down in Auburn Hills. We go to Oakland University. We meet up with head coach Carl Leone and one of their Rocket League players, Jay Cubed. They give us a tour of where they play. Not so much a campus visit, but more of where they play and how this place allows for a really cool blueprint of college and pro esports. I'll explain right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to the 1UP XP show. We have been showing you campus visits to campuses as well as esports programs throughout the month of January. We have one left before we put this uh, awesome segment on brief hold, and then we'll probably pick it up somewhere in April or May. But our last visit is to Oakland University. Not so much the campus, but where they practice and play. Now, it's a little bit different because they are in Auburn Hills, and they practice and play at a place called Game Time. But Game Time is owned and also played in by the Renegades, which is a professional esports organization down in Auburn Hills, the Detroit area. So they have made a deal with Oakland to let Oakland practice and play there. And Oakland's also trying to get a deal with some high schools to practice and play there. So when you look at that blueprint, you have possibly high schools, you have possibly colleges, and you have possibly pros. I mean, that is probably the cleanest blueprint that I've seen of everything under one roof when it comes to esports versus traditional sports and the way that you level up. But we visited game time there in Auburn Hills and checked it out. And let me tell you, they know how to make a guy feel welcome. It is an amazing place with a lot of room, a lot of computers, a lot of monitors, and a lot of just high-end tech. We sat down with their head coach, Carl Leone, a good friend of the show, and he told us about game time in Oakland and also showed us the lab that they're building on campus at Oakland. And we also sat down with Justin, Jay Cubed, one of the Rocket League players for Oakland. Let's check it out. It's Thursday morning. We're starting a three three-and-a-half-ish hour trip. It has been fantastic so far. So uh, we have six teams across four games. So I'll break it down. We have Overwatch, League of Legends, Rocket League, and Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, we have two League of Legends teams and two Rocket League teams. Passes in field. Ross oh. puts it far post and finds the opener for Oakland. Five of the six teams made playoffs in their leagues. We're just really excited about that, and it's hats off to the players. What, what are the, some of the biggest things that you take away from him as being a coach? He is like the first person we can all go to. He's like he's like the dad of us, really. Like he can he, we can literally go to him for anything, and he'll, he'll always support us. And you know, he gives the best advice probably in the esports scene I think I've ever had in a long time. And it's just someone that I can always go to to get another output on it. And it's, you know, he's always able to get some good feedback on it. So it's just someone you're always able to look up to. It's really, really supportive. I just can't get over me on the big screen. How big is that? <laughs> look at it, it's me. Four years ago when I, you know, came in, there was nothing of esports. There was, there was nothing was mentioned of it. And uh, at that time, you know, Rocket League was slowly starting to go up. And I decided to start the club at Rocket League, you know, for Rocket League at Oakland. But we started to make a name for ourselves, even as just as the club. And then, you know, we got the announcement of the esports stuff. Then it was just the perfect path to go into the esports side of things. So it just really kind of all tumbled along together perfectly for, for I guess, the path of Oakland University. For us specifically, our focus is on top tier talent, right? So we're looking for the top players in the area, top one percent of your game. So. If you're ranked somewhere within there, we have an incredible opportunity here. If you're top 1%, there's 99% that we're missing out on that we still want to be able to service. So us here at Oakland University are actually building out a gaming facility on campus. So it's in the Oakland Center and that's free for all students. The designs for it look amazing. So that'll be done very soon here. Uh, that's another reason for uh, you know students who don't maybe fall into that 1% to come to Oakland University for a great gaming experience. We have club on campus for all of the games that we service here in our varsity program. We have clubs with about 100 members in each of them. 
So as a very prominent gaming culture on campus, not just for the very talented students. The look out for the Oakland University's Rocket League team, and I think our success is going to be really skyrocketing over the next couple of you know semesters or you know seasons. I think college esports can help give back to the community a little bit, to, to give an experience to players, and, and not just players, but like you said, talent, right? If you're interested in casting, or you're interested in being a, a streamer, we have facilities here to help you do that. We have a soundproof streaming booth where you can come in and just use the facility and use high-tech equipment, you know, three, four monitors, curved screen, and whatever you could want, but we've got it here. Wow, right? Like, they put me up on the big screen. Besides that, uh, an amazing spot. I have to say a lot of thank yous here. A huge thank you to Oakland, especially Carl Leone and JQ for taking time out and talking to me and showing me the digs around game time. And a huge thank you to Game Time and Renegades, the pro esports organization, uh, especially Josh Clay, the Renegades GM. He was nothing but fabulous, uh, even gave me some Renegades swag um, and really just was nothing but the awesome person that, you know, I've heard about from Carl. So thank you. I appreciate everything you guys did for us when Josh and I were down in Auburn Hills. And the biggest thank you of all, huge thank you to Josh Monroe for doing this with me. He traveled, he drove, and he shot all of this and put it together. And what an exceptional artist to do these packages the way he has. So thank you, everyone, who took part in our first swing of campus visits. There will be a lot more to come. Already have plans of heading up to Michigan Tech. Already have plans of uh, trying to get down to Northwood, Michigan, and even the Grand Rapids area to see all of the other campuses that Northern Michigan and also Michigan in general have to offer. So we are well on it, and we'll probably have those out somewhere April and May. But coming up next, we have one, one more segment that before we get to the credits, but one more segment, we're going to talk about some games, some notable games that are coming out in 2022. Love that for you, Raven Break. All right, welcome back, everyone, to the 1UP XP show. And, yeah, we're into 2022, but we haven't really talked about the games that are coming out that we know of so far for 2022. And there's actually some really good games. Um, and we're going to go through the list. We're going to highlight some of them, uh, but we're definitely going to name most of them, uh, especially the big titles, and then show you a little bit of gameplay here that will be rolling over uh, what we talk about. But first up, as we work our way through uh, these games, I do want to say, uh, just remember, a lot of these might be changing uh, just because COVID, uh, but at the same time, lack of workers, or maybe they have to push it back a little bit because it's not ready. So uh, take this with a grain of salt, but this is where it stands as of right now. And first, we want to get into uh, a great game uh, that we've played before, not on stream, but I have played before, and that is Horizon. Um, Horizon Forbidden West. It's the sequel to um, the Horizon game that came out for exclusively for PS4 a few years ago, and then it was released on PC. But Horizon Forbidden West is just continuing the story. Uh, again, one of the most beautiful games that I have ever played. Um, it's the first of three big PlayStation first-party exclusive, um, and then will eventually be released for PC. That comes out in middle of February, so that will be very soon. Now, when we continue down the list, there's a lot more that we'll continue to name here. Rainbow Six Extraction already came out. Pokemon Legends, um, Dying Light, Stay Human. Again, that's going to be a big one. That comes out February 4th for PS5, Xbox Series, uh, X and S, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Um, Saifu, uh, again, that comes out February 8th on PS5, PS4, and PC. Crossfire X, Total War, uh, Warhammer 3. And then once you get down towards uh, kind of the, another big title, but horror game, which we haven't talked much about, Evil Dead the Game. Uh, this will be released in February um, as well, but PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4 and Xbox One, Switch and PC. So all platforms, uh, the trend of asymmetrical multiplayer games based on classic horror franchise. So it sounds to me like this is going to take on more of a PvP mode um, horror game. But again, Evil Dead, classic horror movie name that should be a fun game to check out um you got babylon's fall gran turismo 7 a huge game for playstation and the realistic and simulator type racing game aspect is what they're going for rather than forza which went more of kind of the fun side of things gran turismo 7 is going more towards the simulator more serious racing aspect of it and again if you are a lucky ps5 owner you are going to love the graphics for this game uh, the list continues. 
uh, Tiny Tina, Tina's Wonderlands, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So that is going to be huge as it's uh, coming out April 5th, PS5, Xbox Series XS, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, PC. And when you head down the list, we still have Kirby, a new Kirby game for the Switch. Uh, the day before, Saints Row, which is huge for, uh, again, Saints Row used to be, uh, I played it way back for, I think, Xbox One when it came out. So this is five years in the making. So a new Saint Row, Saints Row game. Uh, you have Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. And the gameplay of this, uh, they're using um, Unreal Engine, the new Unreal Engine for the graphics. And my gosh, let me tell you, if there's going to be a horror game that probably sets itself aside from everybody else this year, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl might just do that. So there's a list of some of the games that will be coming out. We have one last segment here on the One Up XP Show. We'll be right back. And thank you again, guys, for hanging out with me for episode 24 of the One Up XP Show. Next week, big episode, episode 25, and we have a new segment as we'll start up those podcasts back in February. And we'll also have the great gameplay and awesomeness that is the One Up XP Show. Be good, stay safe, take care. We'll see you next week. Let's go.